put your weight on your front feet and lift your head because the, our, the horses come in. Remember that they came in with their head higher than their withers? Okay? So what happens when the head is higher and there's that in, um, that retraction that happens? Can you, where do you feel stress? Through the back of my neck and my wither. <laughs> <laughs> so more and pretty much all the way down the back, but sort of to about there. Okay. So move this hind leg back and forth. What's that like? Not easy. Okay. March on all four feet. You see how lateral you are? It <laughs> <laughs> should be a great place. Okay, but <laughs> now I'm going to put weight there. <laughs> Move that hind leg. It's <laughs> not easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, so can you feel how bending would be difficult in this posture? Yeah. That if I say to you, give here, that's not an easy place to give. Mm -hmm. This is the exercise, the groundwork exercise that addresses this is heart mm -hmm. The groundwork exercise that addresses the head wanting to be locked and you know we do we do cheek press and then caterpillar you know and cheek delineation and shoulder delineation and then shoulder press get the horses to do this. And this is why we do the S's. Because having them have to move that head really lightly. And it's in that change, this was your question, Tracy, in that change, if you feel the horse lock right at this point, and I'm starting, so don't move, okay? Lock right at that point. If you start go to the left and you slightly pull. Can you feel the bracing that comes into you? Okay. So you either have to think up and over. You know that up to get that head to change. Because there's a lot of the horses that when they get stressed you'll be turning left you know, and they do this, mm -hmm. okay? And you have to think up and over to do that. And then go for a few strides when this leg comes under so that this can come up. And right now, most of the horses in this group are flat tires here. Now when I press on her, I can put all my body weight on her. You see, and if I do this, she's pretty resilient, okay? But in this posture, <laughs> she move your front feet. You see? And that's why you have the idiocy behavior that goes on. Because this retraction, you know, you're getting a lot of it because his mind is worried about his girlfriend. Okay? But that's the thing that makes them heavy because they stop turning, they stop turning that head and neck. And if that head, if that head does not release. You see, if that head actually releases, it takes the rest of the, if these were all beads on a chain, all the beads on the chain can move if that head moves. And it's that actual transference from here to here that is huge. 
But if you pull on it, you can match the weight. But if you pull on it, if you create a drag, if I pull on this ear, she'll brace against me. So you can match the weight, but not to add to the weight. Is that what you're saying? That's right. You can match it. And sometimes when they're heavier, you have to get lighter and quicker. Mm -hmm. And that <clears throat> takes practice to dance it. 